thanks Ed, for joining us today. Uh, could you please introduce yourself and bottom line? So I'm Ed Atta Grant. Uh, I'm the General Manager Director of Payments at Bottomline here. Um, Bottomline is an organization that focuses on uh, business payments and trying to make business payments more simple, smart and secure in, in the payments industry. Um, so due to global pandemic, Cybos uh, was held virtually this year. Could you please briefly comment what Bottomline expected from this year's event? We kind of waited with anticipated breath. We weren't quite sure how the first ever digital side boss would um, run. So uh, we found we were having a lot more meetings in advance of side boss uh, because no one's quite cracked the way to, to network yet digitally. And side boss is a fantastic forum to bring practitioners together from around the world. Um, and in fact, I believe the registrations went as high as 22,000 this year, but they're all digital and remote. So um, we weren't sure how it would run. And um, it, there was a lot of detail involved, a lot, a lot of transactional data being shared. Um, but we weren't expecting much networking. And uh, that was one of the difficult challenges. It was, it was very remote. And um, it was almost like... Um, watching YouTube on and off all day, being on the screen, um, very rich in data, uh, very informative, but little break from the screen to have the usual coffee at, uh, at uh, an exhibition stand. So very, very different was our expectation going in. Thank you. And so next question is, what were you, your key takeaway themes from Cybos? I think the key takeaway for me, uh, just building on the expectation actually, is that there is a limit here on um, the whole world of digital transformation. We, we've all been put into our into our homes, which in some ways creates some intimacy of seeing backdrops of lounges and bedrooms and kitchens, but it doesn't beat being at Cybos and having uh, the chat in the corridor and learning from people on how things are really done in the industry and what um, sensible shortcuts, accelerators, different ways of doing things to achieve uh, certain goals. It, it's just shared at Cybos. It's much richer and more colourful. So in some ways, it's, it restored my faith in, in humankind that there is reason to get together. You can't automate everything on an algorithm. Um, there's more value to be had in actually meeting in, in person. So that was my first learning. Uh, this, <laughs> the second learning, excuse me, is um, a lot of focus on cross-border payments. I think now that the G20 have picked up that uh, problem in the industry of, um, uh, well, not a problem, a, a pain point on how difficult cross-border payments can be as a topic. And they're coming out with reports um, around five key themes and how we need to take some of the friction out for cross-border payments, make it more transparent, easier to do, etc. cetera. Um, and, and that is a hot topic. And it's, and it's a space where we spend a lot of time with, uh, with our partners at Visa on Visa, B2B Connect, exactly on cross-border payments to try and tackle that really big industry challenge that's been around for many years that links to correspondent banking uh, and how that's performed. So cross-border payments um, was uh, definitely another area. Um, the, the final piece in my head was um, SWIFT strategy. That, that was a, a big announcement this year. So SWIFT are looking to reinvent the, their networks beyond just a messaging network and move into end-to-end -end transaction processing. The sort of space that um, bottom line is today with multiple networks being processed across multiple payment uh, currencies, jurisdictions, etc. So um, we, we encourage that. We want to support that. It's um, I think it's a good move as part of the SWIFT community. We want to uh, move with those kind of changes in, in, in the technology and, and the business model. Um, but that is uh, that's a long technical um we learned two-year project. I think we'll go well beyond two years to, to make that move from just messaging to many other value-add transaction processing engines. But, but good to hear. It's, it's the right place to move to. Thank you. And so which areas of the industry are you investing time and effort in? Um, in terms of our investment and our time, we are very busy in uh, financial crime. So we do a lot on... Um, fraud and financial crime prevention detection. That, that's a, a, a big area. And we work with some really interesting technologies that we have around um, user behavioral monitoring 
and analytics around um, internal employees and how they use payment networks um, and sanctions checking. So that's uh, that's big. And we we work with Microsoft as one example in that area globally around um, fraud and financial crime. Uh, open banking is another space that uh, we're very interested in to move the industry forward. Um, we are a certified um, open banking player in terms of our FCA UK regulation. So we can get involved in a lot of the open banking projects for not just aggregated data and access to data, um, but also for payments and doing uh, PISPs, as they're known for the open banking audience, the, the open banking payment transactions. That's a very interesting innovation and, and brings some interesting dynamics into the marketplace. Um, and um, probably the other one is, is coming back to, to, to cross-border. Um, that is another strategic area that our teams have uh, invested a lot of time in solving that the big problem that I mentioned that G20 have highlighted and we've got a lot of meeting with banks to see how we can actually innovate on top of what's there. So I think one of the interesting bits around a cross-border payment challenge is you don't have to rip and replace everything. We've come up with some solutions that actually overlay. It's like an overlay service to um, redirect some of those payments, make them more efficient, cheaper, quicker, visible. Um, so that, they're the kind of areas that we're spending our time. Thank you. And lastly, what is next for Bottom Line and the fintech community? Um, in terms of what's next for fintech and Bottom Line, um, the biggest area is really getting these collaboration models right, I think, in my mind. Um, all the more now that a lot of us are working remote, how do you collaborate digitally? How do you learn what's going on and uh, improve the way of doing things and sharing that the kind of knowledge that we couldn't get from a Cybos conference in person um, this year. So how, how do you work smart and stay abreast of how, how things are getting done? So um, that's, that's a, a key area for us. There's a lot of real-time um, work going on across the business and also a lot of focus on the ISO 2022, the 20022 standards that has data enrichment involved in the payment journey. Um, so plenty to do, lots going on.